Uh, what's up guys? So I'm about a week into the Wim Hof breathing exercise um, and I'm trying to get better at cold exposure because it's really important um, in a few stunts and also for your overall health. Um, and yeah, I'm about a week in and I've seen significant results, but I just wanted to share with you guys how I do the breathing and then also show you guys a little sample of me under cold water after a week of doing this method. So yeah, I'll start off by doing the breathing. What I like to do is I like to just sit down on my toilet and look forward and then do 25 quick inhales and outhales, kind of like I'm blowing up a balloon. So I'll do the sample right now. Right, so that's one cycle. Basically after you do the 25 quick breaths, you exhale and hold as long as you can until you have to literally gasp for air and then take a big breath and hold that also for as long as you can. And then that's, that's it, basically that's one cycle. Um, and I like to do three to five cycles before I get into the shower. And basically what I do is I take a normal shower with nice warm water um, to wash my hair and clean myself. Um, and then after the shower is when I'll turn it to the coldest setting. Um, and this works because uh, the Wim Hof breathing method, um, it basically comes into effect after you do the breathing and then it'll be like a nice span of time that um, the feeling will be um, there, I guess. Um, you can kind of tell when you're in this feeling, you just feel a lot um, better, much more focused. Um, and then right after you're doing the breathing, you'll notice that you're quite lightheaded. You can see like kind of like stuff a little bit spinning and whatnot. You see like the little squigglies. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do two more and then after I'm gonna jump in the shower quick. Alright, we're done. Now it's time to jump into the shower. Alright, so I've done my warm shower uh, and now I'm just going to turn this to the coldest degree and you guys can kind of see how I react. I can take like nice deep breaths. I noticed that he does this in some of his videos. And it really helps you focus on the cold water as I'm getting it everywhere on my bathroom floor. Yeah, as you stay in the water, you definitely get a lot more used to it. From the first day compared to like today, um, there's definitely a bigger change on like how long I can stay under the water and how much more I'm controlled with my body. Like it's still cold, but you can definitely take your mind off the feeling when you do it more often.
Yeah, I feel pretty good, so I'm just gonna stop it. It's been drying off, and yes, we do have Mona Lisa watching us poop in our bathroom. But apart from that, to recap this week with the Wim Hof Method, uh, comparing the first day to uh, the last day of the week, I definitely noticed really big differences. Um, the first time I did the Wim Hof Method, I had about 10 to 15 seconds under the cold water. Um, and then now that I've done it for seven days, I got up to like one to two minutes. Like I could definitely tell there's a big difference in uh, being able to control my body and uh, my mind being under the cold water as well as my breath. So that's kind of what I noticed after the first week and then we'll be updating um, every other week or probably at the end of the 30 days with the Wim Hof Method um, and how things go. But my main goal with this method is to swim in the Pacific Ocean. I live here in Vancouver, uh, British Columbia, Canada. And it's winter right now, so it's hella cold outside, but I do want to swim in the ocean just as like a, kind of like a goal, just kind of like a, yeah, let's do it. Uh, so yeah, it's my goal for the end of this month um, to swim in the ocean using the Wim Hof Method. And I think we are gonna achieve it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a quick one. Hit the subscribe button below if you guys enjoyed the video. But other than that, I'm gonna go to bed, so good night.